What up everybody, it's Andy Mills and I'm back with some more Death Stranding tips and tricks. It's been a while, but I haven't been post I haven't posted a video because of Thanksgiving and I was a little bit of and I was kinda sick over Thanksgiving, but I hope your Thanksgiving was better than mine because as I said I was sick. But today I'm gonna show off three things for you guys today. I'm gonna show off what it looks like when you get a void out, um how to achieve a void out. I'm sure you guys know, but I'm gonna show it off because I've gotten uh, several comments asking for that. Um, second thing I'm going to show off is peeing on the sludge monsters. I've also gotten a comment for that, showing that off, because uh, it's pretty funny, actually. The interaction is pretty funny. And then the last one is cutting the umbilical cord of a BT. In Chapter 5, you get an upgrade to your handcuffs. But they never really force you to actually cut the umbilical cord for a BT besides the story point that I'm not going to talk about. I don't want to spoil it if you are not at Chapter 5 as of right now and watching this video. But let's get straight into it. All right, so I pretty much preloaded myself in an area where there's a lot of BTs. I'm gonna initiate this. I hope my volume is pretty high. Um, because I know in this area it's super, it's super loud. And this, like anytime you go into a BT area and the storms, the lightning, and the music gets pretty intense. So hopefully the volume is good. Uh, let me know in the comments below if, if my volume's not, if it's not high enough. I'm, I've gotten that before and I can adjust it. So I, I, I appreciate the feedback. So, first thing I'm going to show off is kind of the built report. And one thing I noticed, can you guys see this? Hold on. Can you see the two, you can see the two uh, floating bodies? That's a family. That's a, that's a man and a wife and a little baby on the right. Can you see that? I noticed that one time and it creeped me out. So maybe that's the wife, maybe that's the husband and or the mother and father and look at the little baby. Isn't that crazy? That's creepy. Anyways, let's get back to what I'm trying to show off. So you can see all the milk cords, you kinda of sneak up, you gotta go real slow. And then just press Q. And this unlocks an achievement or a trophy if you haven't gotten that trophy. I forget what it's, I forget what the trophy's called. I can look it up right now because I just got it a second ago. Yeah, rest in pieces. And when you do that, you actually get likes from BTs because that's a humane way of killing them. Anyways. Let's get on to the next thing I'm going to show off, and that's peeing on the slug monster. So you're going to aggro the BT. Get this portion of it. Shake off any of the BTs that are on you. Go all the way here. They are going to do this. They're going to be like, yeah. It's like a mosh pit. And then you just whip it out. I have a look at it, you know, you want them to be impressed. Like, oh, give it to me. Yeah, I'll give it to you. You know what I'm saying? It's a little weird, isn't it? I feel like it just got a little bit weird. Anyways, let's move on. So that's what happens. It, just, it, it makes them go away. It's pretty cool if you don't have any EX grenades or hematic grenades on you. But you should if you're at this part of the game. Anyways, put that away. And now let's cause the void out. We're going to find a BT. It's not too happy with our presence. Over here, over here, over here. Uh, we're getting closer. Hey, 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 hey. Gotta yell at him. What's up? See, it's another family. Uh, they just want to rest. They're trying to stop me. They want, they want me to stay for dinner, but I'm not gonna stay for dinner. <laughs> Anyways, get taken down. Collapse on you. Whoa. And they pull you to so I pretty much determined you know have you ever noticed if you're in a big BT area and you get pulled and they drag you somewhere very far away like right now they're pulling you to a safe area if you cause a void out like I'm about to right now they pull you to a safe area that you're not in the way of anything any story missions or prepper it's pretty much the game taking care of itself so it doesn't break itself that's pretty much what's happening here Now I gotta wait for this dude to uh, swallow me. He takes a long time. He likes to play with his dinner. 
Alright, now he's gonna suck me in and it's gonna create this black hole. Out. Void out. Believe it or not, it took me several tries to record this. Apparently, if you take a week off of recording, you f forget how to do everything. Your camera or your computer forgets all of its settings, all the volume settings, all the lightings. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a mess. Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to get this video out to you guys. It's the fourth time, third time. I don't even know how many times I've tried to connect or try to record this. But anyways, I said connect because I was about to talk, talk about this. So when you go into this repatriated zone, you have these little, these bodies of other Sam Porter bridges that you can connect to, and I mean, I'm sure you guys already know this, but it's kind of cool to show it off. Literally just swim up to this guy. Now we're connected. But a cool thing is that as soon as you spawn, each person you connect to in this zone, it spawns an item that you can pick up afterwards. And I'm sure you guys know this as well, but I'm just gonna show it off. You can pick up these items. What happens when you pick them up? When you get back into the game, it's right there that you can throw on your back. One more thing before I repatriate, repatriate myself. If you ever notice this body that's your own, I was confused the first time I saw it, but like I said, I tried to record this several times. And I thought. Oh, um, I've seen the interaction the Interaction is that this is literally just so you can load your last save data So you don't so you can go jump back to before uh, You cause a void out anyways, let's go back to Me this Sam mm, Blue you see the little BB that's inside your throat for some reason Oh, got the booty! Oh, that's my favorite one. Got the baby booty. No peta. You get dropped in. You get all those things that you picked up. Including... Uh -oh. oh. That's a new one. I haven't seen him thrown up. And then you get items from these random people that you connected with. Like one to throw it on your back. Uh, negative side of getting repatriated is all your stuff becomes severely damaged, which basically means you have to recycle them if you want to get any use out of them. They're pretty much useless now. And the last thing I want to show off when you get a void out, or the main thing is, creates this crater. And I'm not sure how long this crater lasts inside your save instance if you want to keep this instance going. I want to say it's 30 minutes because I feel like the game, everything lasts about 30 minutes. If you clear a mule camp, you clear a mule camp over here over here well <clears throat> if you clear this mule camp you know how if you clear it out it says oh now porters can walk through here safely that lasts about 30 minutes in game in game 30 minutes and this whole area is is now left with a, a huge bt handprint on your map and it shows like the darkened crater and also you can like kind of move it so you can rotate it i kind of love that feature it's cool. Makes you feel like you're in the future or whatever. <laughs> also has this wind wall. Pushes you away every time. But yeah, that's pretty much what happens when you create, cause a void out, but... I don't know, it's, it's really low risk. You can always just save back and... They always move it to a place that you'll not affect anything else. Anything, any main thing. So... Yeah, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for other videos that you want me to do, leave it down in the comment section below like this one was. Many, any tips that you guys want to spread on, I'll make a video for others to see. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's, it helps me uh, tremendously. I appreciate all the love that I've been getting since I've started making these videos. I really appreciate all you guys. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night. You guys later. I'm gonna, I plan to make some more videos since I've been gone for so long, but I, I'm going to try to record some more videos since I got all my settings back to normal. All right, guys. See you guys later.